Hello and welcome to a session on Advanced Work Assignment Universal Capacity, a feature introduced in the San Diego release. My name is Eric Merkel, a product manager in this area. So let's get started. The problem we're trying to solve is agents need to have their capacity considered across all channels they work. So let's talk about the capability before. So in this case, we have two channels one chat and one incident. They both have capacity set on them. One, the chat is set to two and the incident is set to five. This means an agent will receive work items of up to five from the incident and two from chat so for a total capacity of seven. This can be overwhelming when agents are handling multiple work items like this. So with universal capacity, we introduced a setting that you can set per agent to set a total that it, both channels will not go above. So in this case, the agent is set to five. So that's the total amount of work items this agent can receive. So let's talk about how this is configured in the next demo. So this demo is going to show you how to set up universal capacity. So the first step is to check and look at what the channel capacity is set at. So we're gonna to go to advanced work assignment, service channels, First, we're gonna look at the incident channel. The incident channel has a max capacity of five set. There's currently no agent overrides on that channel. So in this case, an agent would only be able to receive five incident records. So next, let's look at the chat. It's currently set to two. So when we now set universal capacity, um, we're gonna look at those and when we set that universal capacity. So we have two on the chat and five on the incident. So now let's go to universal. So universal capacity under the management area in advanced work assignment, there's a table called universal capacity. This is where you're going to set the universal capacity across both channels for the agent. So I select the new button and I want to set the max capacity here to say only five work items can be delivered to that agent at any time across those two channels. So as you can see before, when we looked at the channels, it were really would have been a total of seven if we just let the channels um, use their max capacity. So we're gonna set this to five and I wanna select an agent named Maria and add it to the right and hit submit. So now you can actually see that the max capacity for universal is set to five. There's none in use right now for Maria. Um, the next little sections, I wanna show you this in action. Now, now let's see universal capacity in action. So in this case, we have Josh on the left, who is an AWA manager, and we have Maria on the right, who is an agent. Maria on the right is available for both chat and incidents, and Josh is monitoring the queue with the AWA operational dashboard. You can see on the dashboard that Maria is available for both channels. She is already working on four incidents in our capacity. Remember in our last configuration, we set universal capacity for a maximum of five. In this case, Maria is close to her maximum universal capacity. So let's look at universal capacity. So if I navigate back to advanced work assignment and look at the university capacity area, you're gonna see that she is at universal capacity level of four, mostly coming from the incident channel. So in this case, now let's go back and let's route a chat to Maria. So we have a requester called Kathy who is about to submit a chat to Maria. You can see that Mar Maria has the option to accept. This time the work item that you saw on the left here from Josh goes away. And we should see that the capacity and use for Maria on the chat channel now has increased by one. In this case, we should now be at our universal capacity limit. So we're gonna go back to universal capacity Look, and you're gonna see we, we hit the universal capacity and use max for Maria. So let's try one more item. So in this case, Maria is at her capacity. We should now see if I route one more incident, it's just waiting to be accepted. So we see now on the left side, a new waiting item in the queue. Our capacity is at our max, but we remember we had a capacity for incident of five on the channel but we've hit our universal capacity max. So right now, Maria is not getting another incident in her queue. What we'll do is we'll close this chat in her window and you're gonna see automatically she received that pending waiting incident. So at this point, she's at her capacity and use for the channel for incident 
and she is also at her universal capacity in use limit also. This is how universal capacity works in the San Diego release. Thank you for joining.